Still reeling from that Independence Day fireworks mishap that left you a few digits short of a hand? Introducing Find a Finger, the only app that uses AI to track down your thumbs, pinkies, and your favorite salute for people who cut you off in traffic. Just enter your location. Too drunk to remember. Your firework? Uh, Cherry bomb. No, wait. Bottle rocket. No. And alcohol intake. Still drunk. And find a finger will do the rest. This app would be easier to use if I had both of my thumbs. Just ask our satisfied customer. <laughs> find a finger, because nobody should have to go through life giving high fours. KHJ Los Angeles. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recording. You're listening to the radio. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. He came and he grabbed the food. And then he came again for the soda. Now sit back, relax, and get ready to go on a musical voyage that makes Sergeant Peppers seem like a rejected jingle for Ritz crackers. I have got a serious case of the Mondays. <laughs> That is so stupid. I think we're about to start a radio show. Let's quiet down and try to be mature. Okay. Who wants to play video games? What? Why would you ask me that? I don't know. It's National Video Game Day. We want to play video games. And there are so many to choose from. Super Mario Brothers? Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, play Grand Theft Auto. I know. Let's play Call of Duty. You get paid to play video games? I want to play Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Happy National Video Game Day. Ooh, video games. We could play video games. Let's do this. Let's do it! Okay. Let's do it. You're supposed to say showtime. Anyway, hi there. It's uh, the Mike Show. So darn happy you could join us right here, right now on Radio 434, the Radio 434 apps and Radio434.com. Also on the Alexa. On the Alexa, I said. Hello. There she is. Uh, how do you get our uh, feature channel and our live show? On the Alexa device, you may ask, well, it's very simple. You enable the skill. You just do that one time. You say, Alexa, enable the Radio 434 skill. And? And? Hello! She will. And then every time after that you want to listen, you just say, Alexa, play Radio 434. It's so easy. Uh, You know what's even easier? Uh, Getting our podcast on the Alexa. The podcast is a repack of all the live show segments uh, that we do uh, every morning, Monday through Friday. And uh, we take all those segments, we repack them uh, into a daily show. Uh, it uh, usually uh, usually runs about an hour or so. Once once you repack all the uh, all the stuff, uh, sans music. We we don't play the music in the podcast that we do on the live show. Uh, repack it. Uh, usually drops around noon. You can find that on Alexa by saying, Alexa, play the Mike Show VA podcast and and. And she will. Uh, And you can also find it if you just search the Mike Show VA. Uh, Search that on uh, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, RSS.com, our website, Radio434.com. You can just go to the Mike Show channel, and there's a link to the podcast as well. So there you go. I I gave you all the ways that you can find us. Uh, Oh, yeah, and you can even watch the show on our Facebook Live at the Mike Show VA. Okay. Um, coming up, uh, we are going to uh, take a musical voyage, uh, and as well as, uh, of course, we get your five random facts. We're going to get you a little bit more smarter. Uh, we're going to talk with Cami Smith from Centra Health. Uh, they, she does the podcast for Centra Health, and they've got a, a new one dropping. Uh, if you're familiar with Rob from this show and you're also familiar with Kathleen Davis uh, from the band you may know her from the band The Chapsticks you may know her from uh, the uh, the curious history walking tours of downtown I don't know exactly what it's called and she's going to be mad Uh, maybe not Uh, and and you know she she just does so much uh, throughout our community and uh, you're very familiar Uh, if you don't know her 
you need to. But they are uh, on uh, their their podcast uh, and so much more. And it's Healthy Over Skinny, part two is uh, dropping today. So you're going to want to check that out. Check out Cammie uh, on the show a little bit later on. Plus, uh, we have your top list. And, uh, well, I've got a statistic. And this is a, this is a little, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a head scratcher. One in four young people are, are rocking socks with sandals. Okay, now I would have thought that would have been an old person thing. But one in four. So we're going to talk about this plus our top list, top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. That's uh, that's all on the way. Uh, this portion of the broadcast is brought to you in part by Centra Health. This is a care team at Centra. Hello. A team of experts who partner with you. Hey, Jackie. How are you? A doctor oversees your care. The team will take great care of you. An advanced practice provider is there for routine and sick visits. All right, I'll get that prescription call in for you. Thank you. And an RN leads your nursing team. Your numbers are looking great. Getting you the personalized care you need. And that takes a team. Count on Centra because it's your life. And we help you live it. From brand new to lightly used, CMA's Honda of Lynchburg's got you covered. Shop our growing selection today and find our best deals on our entire inventory. That's savings on every single vehicle. And on our used cars, take three days to love it or leave it. Plus, we'll buy your current vehicle. Trade in with us and get an unbeatable offer. Start shopping and saving today. CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Owners just care more. Three Roads Brewery is Lynchburg's gathering spot. Enjoy the relaxed open atmosphere of the Lynchburg Tap Room with plenty of space to unwind or outside on their expansive patio with friends and the entire family. Check out Three Roads games, arcade style, darts, and more. And of course, an excellent selection of craft beers brewed on site. Grab a Three Roads today at their Tap Room, 1300 Court Street, downtown Lynchburg, their Tap Room in Farmville, or anywhere they serve great beer. Three Roads is also available at area convenience stores and supermarkets. And if they don't carry Three Roads, ask them to. Brewing Community, Three Roads Brewery. Coming to you live from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafters' incredible inventory at their Factory Direct Warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. K-H-F! Hey guys, now that summer's here, wondering what the hottest fashions are? Here's fashion expert Contessa Roberts with Guy's Summer Fashion Tips. T-shirts, sandals, and swim trunks about knee level. Again. Excellent. I think we all have some of those. Thanks, Contessa. Guys, looks like we're dialed in for an awesome summer. This has been Guy's Summer Fashion Tips. Yeah, it has been. It's the Mike Show. All right. So, young people were surveyed about what I would consider to be a, uh, a fashion faux pas, if you will. I guess if you want to look young, hip, and trendy this summer... Toss some socks on over those, uh, or under those sandals. Not over the sandals, under the sandals. A new poll found almost one in six Americans and more than a quarter of young people now think socks with sandals is a good look. Um, Okay, so let's say that again. A new poll found almost one in six Americans, more than a quarter of young people, now think socks with sandals is a good look. 26% of people under 30 said it's usually how they roll when they've got sandals on. Another uh, 11%, does that include Crocs? Crocs with socks, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Another 11% are on the fence about it. Uh, Only around 10% of people over 40 rock the sandals and socks look. And uh, even less, it's even less common among seniors. That's very interesting. I would figure that that would be the opposite, opposite, opposite. But it isn't. Uh, But that trend reverses when we're talking about sneakers. Uh, Okay. Only 4% 
uh, of young people like wearing sneakers without socks compared to 11% of seniors who will wear sneakers without socks. That makes sense because, you know, you're over 65. Who has time? And the flexibility, I guess, for socks every day. Socks. Um, I like having socks. I mean, wearing socks. Anyway, uh, so that brings us to our top list. With one in six Americans thinking it's okay to wear socks with sandals, sadly, this also means one in six Americans would be okay, probably, with anything from today's list. It's our top list today. Top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. All right, here, here we go. Number one. Top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. P. Diddy and anything. Uh, Post Malone and shampoo. <laughs> Top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. Uh, Rudy Giuliani and Dry January. <clears throat> Steve Buscemi and a nice, peaceful New York City stroll. <laughs> Top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. Mexico and heads remaining attached to necks. Uh, top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. Nick Cannon and rubbers. <laughs> and rubbers. Uh, top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. <laughs> Apple and bees. Oh, no, not the bees! No, yeah. Not the bees! Yeah. Ah! I know. Out of there, my eyes! Yeah. Ah! Sorry, Mr. Cage. Uh, top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. Justin Timberlake and DUI checkpoints. Alec Baldwin and prop guns. Top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. Joe Biden and debates. And uh, the uh, top list, top combinations that are almost as awful as socks and sandals. The winner of the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest and regularity. Yeah. It's the Mike Show. Uh, coming up, uh, we have news, uh, and we have not headline news. That is all on the way. Uh, this portion of our broadcast is brought to you in part by CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Looking for a dealership you can trust? CMA's Honda of Lynchburg is here for you. Our legacy of quality service speaks for itself. Drive away today in a Honda that's perfect for you. Trusted by the Lynchburg community for years. CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Owners just care more. This is Jackie. Hi. Jackie is feeling really good. I sure am. Tell everybody why, Jackie. Well, because I've got my own care team at Centra. You sure do. Yep, I've got my doctor. Leading your team. My advanced practice provider. Who's there if you're sick or for yearly visits. And my registered nurse. Leads your nursing team. At Centra, I'm getting personal care from a team of experts. No wonder you're feeling good. Really good. To learn how Centra can help you, like they're helping Jackie, go to CentraHealth.com. Join us down at the Lynchburg Community Market and experience all that one of the nation's oldest farmer's markets has to offer. Grab some lunch from our restaurants and shops or shop from our awesome selection of artisan, handmade goods and our crafters gallery. Swing by on Saturday to check out our farmer's market where you can shop from the freshest selection of local grown produce, meats, and more. The Lynchburg Community Market, located in downtown Lynchburg on the corner of 12th and Main Street. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 7 to 2 year round. For more information, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Lynchburg Community Market. Broadcasting from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafter's incredible inventory at their Factory Direct Warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. KHF. This is not headline news. Kevin Costner's new western has been a critical and commercial flop. Reached for comment, he said, at least I didn't shoot my cinematographer. Danny Trejo got into a fight with a guy who hit him with a water balloon during a 4th of July parade. Which begs the question, what kind of idiot brings a water balloon to a machete fight? 94-year-old Clint Eastwood is auctioning his prized possessions, which currently are diapers and oxygen. And Ringo Starr turned 84 yesterday. Now when Ringo says he gets by with a little help from his friends, those friends are Cialis and Viagra. This is not headline news. Okay, he's recycling jokes now. It's just uh, just inserting uh, celebrity name here. Anyway, uh, hi there. It's uh, the Mike Show. It's the uh, Monday edition of the program. 
so darned happy that you're uh, willing to spend <laughs> spend a little part of it with us. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. All right. Um, okay, I'm not picking it. I think I have a mustache hair. It's gone up my nose. It's itchy. Sorry for those <laughs> those that are viewing on Facebook Live. Uh, my apologies. Anyway, are you a passive-aggressive person? Maybe you don't even know that you're a passive-aggressive person. Somebody ask uh, psychology experts for some phrases that people don't realize may be passive-aggressive. Uh, here are their top six. Uh, let's do this from the bottom up, because that's the way I like to do it. And by the way, um, if you are in a relationship, you, you may not want to say these things either. But, uh, but these are, again, uh, passive-aggressive phrases uh, that uh, people you should stop using. Um, you're just too sensitive. <laughs> it discounts their feelings and shifts the blame onto the person. So you don't have to apologize or feel bad. Um, oh, so you don't have to apologize or feel bad. So you're too sensitive. Okay, no. you Maybe you're just, you know, <laughs> a D-bag. I don't know. Um, if you say so, it's dismissive and implies you don't really, really believe what that person is saying. But you're also shutting down the conversation. Uh, number four on the list. Whatever. <laughs> I use that. I use that so often. It's like, you, and it, it is. You might use it when you're throwing in the towel. I, that that's me. I'm just, I'm done. Whatever. Throw in the towel, and I say whatever. I, I do that quite a. That's kind of my go-to. Um. Now, it could be. I don't really want to watch that movie, but whatever. Okay, then yeah, but but I, I'm I'm I use whatever if we're if we're in some sort of a uh, heated discussion. It's fine. It's fine. That's number three. Especially when it's obviously not fine. You're avoiding the confrontation when you should really just tell them how you feel. Um, it's fine. Just fine. I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't know how I feel about this one. Now, it says here, people use it as a non-apology. Like, I'm not sorry for what I did, but I'm trying to sound like I am. Instead of taking responsibility, you're placing the blame on the other person's feelings. Hmm. But what if you disagree? What if you disagree with, you know, why they feel that way? Okay, I'm, I'm just saying. And then, oh, the, <laughs> this is the top one. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. It's passive aggressive if, if there's secretly resentment or envy behind it. All right. But you could say, if, if, if you're genuinely happy... Well, I, I usually say something like, well, man, that's awesome. That's great. Good for you. And that's then that's not. There's no passive aggressive. But it is if, they're secret, if you're secretly resentful or there's some envy behind it. Anyway, all right. Um, it is the Mike Show coming up. Uh, we have uh, facts. We have five of them, as a matter of fact. And uh, we're, we're going to give them to you. They're totally random. And that's why we call it Five Random Facts. Uh, this portion of our broadcast, though, is brought to you in part by Jersey Mike Subs. At Jersey Mike's, they slice your order fresh right in front of you. And let me tell you, watching that can send a rush of emotions through a person. Excitement, impatience, baby-like wonder, indecisive, anticipatory chewing, nervous pacing, happy claps, and finally, jealousy, because that's this guy's sub. I should order one. Good idea. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. How do you like to spend your summer nights? At the beach or at the ballpark? Why not both? 
Join the Lynchburg Hillcats at the Delmarva Shorebirds visit July 9th through the 14th. On Friday, the Lemonada Stay Hill City will return with a limited edition Lemonada's themed Hawaiian shirt. Still not beachy enough for you? Saturday will be a celebration of good times and good vibes with our annual Margaritaville night. Following the game, we'll let our cares blast away with a fireworks show. Get your tickets today at lynchburg-hillcats.com. Hi, I'm Megan Huffman with Share Greater Lynchburg. Share is an online platform that helps neighbors discover ways to support, serve, or shop for over 150 local area nonprofits all in one place, 365 days a year. You can learn more at sharegreaterlynchburg.org. Coming to you live from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafters' incredible inventory at their factory direct warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at stonecraftersva.com. K-H-F. And now it's time for Five Rand- Random Random Facts. Yep, that time of the day. We cram your head full of usable information, and you can tell it back wherever the heck you happen to be. Uh, we don't know where you go or what you do, and quite frankly, it's really none of our business. But if you say any of these five random facts back, someone in the room is bound to say, Wow. Maybe, I don't know. Number one. Chicago is the northernmost U.S. city with more than one million residents. Uh, Number two, Axe Body Spray is called Lynx in England. I I said in uh, England. Ireland, uh, Australia, uh, China, and New Zealand because of trademark issues. Okay. Uh, Number three, there hasn't been a female wild jaguar spotted in the entire United States since the 1960s. And up until recently, many thought there was only one male who lived in Santa Rita, the, the Santa Rita Mountains near Tucson, Arizona. The Center for Biological Diversity said there was a jag- jaguar spotted back in December that had not previously been seen in the U.S., the population had been wiped out in America, but there are about 4,000 in Mexico. Um, number, uh, oh, I'm hungry all of a sudden. Uh, number four, only, only five people died in the Boston Massacre in 1770. Uh, now, they were innocent civilians killed, like, killed by the British, by British troops, so it's awful. But it's still a relatively small number uh, to be considered a massacre. And uh, number five. Let's get some music in here uh, right quick. There we go. All right, number five. In 2018, November Rain by Guns N' Roses became the first video from the 1990s to surpass one billion views on YouTube. 2018, November Rain. Uh, And those... Are your five random facts? This has been today's edition of One, two, three, four, five. Rand, rand, random facts. Yep, the Mike Show. It's the uh, what is today? Monday. It's the Monday edition of the program. Uh, coming up, we are going to put sounds in your ear holes. Uh, that's Audio Vault. That is all on the way. Uh, this portion of our broadcast is brought to you in part by Centra Health. This is a care team at Centra. Hello. A team of experts who partner with you. Hey, Jackie, how are you? A doctor oversees your care. The team will take great care of you. An advanced practice provider is there for routine and sick visits. All right, I'll get that prescription call in for you. Thank you. And an RN leads your nursing team. Your numbers are looking great. Getting you the personalized care you need. And that takes a team. Count on Centra because it's your life. We help you live it. Join us down at the Lynchburg Community Market and experience all that one of the nation's oldest farmer's markets has to offer. Grab some lunch from our restaurants and shops or shop from our awesome selection of artisan, handmade goods and our crafters gallery. Swing by on Saturday to check out our farmer's market where you can shop from the freshest selection of local grown produce, meats and more. The Lynchburg Community Market, located in downtown Lynchburg on the corner of 12th and Main Street. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 7 to 2 year round. For more information, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Lynchburg Community Market. 
Lynchburg. Three Roads Brewery is Lynchburg's gathering spot. Enjoy the relaxed open atmosphere of the Lynchburg Tap Room with plenty of space to unwind or outside on their expansive patio with friends and the entire family. Check out Three Roads games, arcade style, darts, and more. And of course, an excellent selection of craft beers brewed on site. Grab a Three Roads today at their Tap Room, 1300 Court Street, downtown Lynchburg, their Tap Room in Farmville, or anywhere they serve great beer. Three Roads is also available at area convenience stores and supermarkets. And if they don't carry Three Roads, ask them to. Brewing Community, Three Roads Brewery. Broadcasting from the Stonecrafters Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafters Incredible Inventory at their Factory Direct Warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. KHF. This is a day. It is the Mike Show. Uh, <laughs> Monday edition, and it is a very, very slow yes. roll this morning. Um, so how was your weekend? Oh, my weekend felt like an eternity. Really? <laughs> well, because, you know, 4th of July was on Thursday. Yeah. Um, and then I went in oh, for yeah, a half day on Friday. Yeah. And then it just kind of felt like one long... <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Last week feels like it was a month ago, hmm. basically. But it was a good weekend. We yeah. we went to the pool. Nice. We went to some fireworks. We yeah. just did all kinds of stuff. We went um, down to Roanoke, up okay. to Roanoke, over to Roanoke, <laughs> where Roanoke is from here. I think it's down. Um, in some direction. In some direction. Um, went over there. <laughs> we went over there. Um, but it was good. We took the whole family and just... Explored. It was That's an cool. ex- exploration weekend. That was cool. What about you? Um, well, uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday in the day I worked, uh, and uh, we coordinated that, and it's and it's and it's very festive. If it, it's still, it's decorated until the end of uh, July. Oh, I uh, love it. So, uh, so check it out. And I, I got to see Santa Claus, uh, and uh, and that was a treat. Okay, that's yeah. exciting. Mm-hmm. We yeah yeah, uh, but that was all part of work. Uh, and then and then uh, yesterday uh, hung out with the kiddo and just uh, went to the pool. Oh, uh, Tab is uh, Tab's on on a conference uh, until Thursday, so she's out of town. So so we were talking off air yeah. about uh, you know having to get the kiddos ready and how they respond to either mom. Or dad, okay. getting ready in the morning. This is a thing. <laughs> this is a thing, and and I don't know if it's like mom versus dad, or if it's just whatever caregiver gets them up yeah. normally. Yeah. They fall into this groove of like snooze and wandering around aimlessly in a fog, and it's like you have to ask them seventeen times to put their shoes on, and I'm just gonna go sit in the car. And if you're in the car when we leave, great. If not, I don't know what to tell you. All right. But then so. the other caregiver comes in, and it's yeah. like bright-eyed and bushy-tailed children who pack um, apparently who pack their own bags. My kid uh, is is typically when Tab gets her up. Uh, that's the exact same <laughs> yes. way you just described. It is it is uh, a perpetual <laughs> fog. She has to be told fifty million times. Uh, she's still upstairs doing something. Tab's already downstairs waiting at the door, ready to go. Yes. And she has to yell up 50 times to get Maddie downstairs. Me? <clears throat> I had a conversation with her yesterday about this. And I said, hey, kiddo, do you think that we can possibly get our stuff together and tomorrow make it easy? So there and was some prep. You put some yeah, prep little bit. into it. So, yeah. so maybe that's the key. Maybe <laughs> the right. key is expect setting an expectation. You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm just okay. going to put it to the test. When I come back, I'm Let not going to be here next out. week. But the week after, yeah. it's going to be the week after vacation. So it's yeah. going to be like a true test. Let me know how that works I'm out for you. I'm going to let you know how it works. Okay, because I, <laughs> I know for Tab, it won't. No. Uh, the, it'll, it'll always be the same. But for me... For some reason, I, see, I don't even have my sound effects. I'd have the Hallelujah Chorus of Angels <laughs> playing right now. But for me, uh, last night, I sent my daughter, my nine-year-old, uh, via via messenger, I sent her the instructions that Tab sent me from the camp. So and impressive. and And I said, hey, here's everything that you need to put in your bag. Can you go pack your bag now? This was last night. Oh, so she packed the bag the night. See, she packed the bag the night before. She came downstairs and she is fully dressed. Oh my god! Everything that she's supposed to be wearing with the backpack on, and she's down there before I even got in the shower. See, 
<laughs> she was I'm ready. Just, I'm just, I'm going to be honest. I'm very envious right now. <laughs> I think Tab's going to be too. She is. Or, yep. you know, also impressive. Or just annoyed. A little bit of that too. <laughs> She'll be annoyed. It's a mixed bag yeah, of emotions. It certainly will be. But that's not why you're here. Uh, no. You're here to talk about uh, your podcast. It's called And So Much More. Yes. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm loving uh, this new t- this topic that you guys are working on. Uh, yes. And it's going to be, what, this, part two is going to drop? This is going to be part two of Healthy Over Skinny. Um, and we talked about it a little bit last week. We sat down with Rob Wood. Mm -hmm. who is a superstar over here Um, and Kathleen Davis and Aaron Baird who's I mean all superstars I was probably that is a superstar lineup right there on that screen incredible that's like that's like your a team it was it was a blast the conversation was awesome Um, the the level at which they were willing to open up and share just really blew my mind Um, and so this part two we kind of dig into more of the um, the mental health side of this healthy versus skinny the how our brains are truly like warped and and designed and and kind of shaped to look at one very narrow perspective of what healthy is Mm -hmm. and it's so closely associated with being thin and being toned and you know all these things you have to do you got to get up you got to run three miles a day and you got to do yoga and you got to eat everything that's green and only the green things and then juice it I'm a, I'm a shape. It's round, but I'm a shape. And and you know oh, what? Wait, and that's shape. the thing. In Sorry. shape. In shape. No, in but shape. no, that's the thing. It's there we've got to change this perspective. We've yeah. got to change the narrative and um and hearing each of their stories and how their mental health played into it, but then also how their mental health was impacted by it. So it's kind of like those things that put you in that situation in in the first place mm-hmm. and then the work that has to be done because of that that culture war you're trying to get out of yeah. and you know it can feel like a lot and so it's very cool to hear that there are those who have done this work and it's worth it and so you guys need to go and listen this is uh this is awesome it's healthy over skinny yes and so much more. It's part one of the uh, of the uh, podcast, and then mm-hmm. so you've got part two that's going to be dropping. Part two is dropping today. Awesome. A little bit later today. Okay. Um, and then next week I'm not going to be here, and so ah. um, I know, but ah. I'm going to be at the beach. Yeah. Uh, but I. I'll send you a link. You can phone it in. No, there, there we go. I'm there kidding. we go. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to bug you on your vacation. <laughs> from the beach, I'll just call in from you know, the waves in the background. That'll be very sad for um, me. <laughs> But I'll be we, happy for you. It will be happy for me. Well, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Okay. All right. Um, well, that, but next week we're dropping one. Um, it's going to be a parent-focused podcast, okay. um, specifically parents who have had their babies in the NICU. Um, and so that's the neonatal intensive care unit mm-hmm. over at Virginia Baptist Hospital. And so I sit down with a new mom who talks about her experience mm-hmm. and um, and such an incredible experience. And she, she went through a lot in her pregnancy. She went through a lot um, at the hospital, in the NICU. Mm -hmm. Um, I think her little boy was there for a month. Oh, my. Um, I can't imagine. But, um, yeah, exactly. Oh, my. Like, that was my kind of my response as she was sharing. Um, I just can't even imagine what that was like. But she shares her experience. And then there's this app. um, They kicked us out the next day. Oops. Me too. No, I was gone in like less than 40 hour, 48 yeah. hours. They're like, you're good. You're good. Good yeah. to go. <laughs> no, and, and that's and that's in, in a perfect world. It is. Uh, it you is. You know, you go in, uh, you have the baby. They, they make sure everything's working fine. And, you know, it's true. A, a day or so later, you know, it's, yes. like, it's like, okay, you're good. And so, uh, no, you're absolutely right. I had yeah. zero context for this other side right. that so many parents experience Yikes. and yeah. um, you know driving back and forth and not getting to bring your baby home and she talked about that tension of like mm-hmm. complete excitement because of this new life that's a part of your family but then also like the devastation of having to leave and go home without your baby every day and Yikes. it was a lot 
it was a lot, mm-hmm. but um, but I was really thankful for her sharing her story with us um, and then sharing some of the tools that were given to her to really go through that in a successful way. Okay. Um, and so we'll talk, you'll have to go and check it out. We'll drop next Monday. Nice. Uh, and so much more podcast. It's the Centra Health Podcast. Yes. Uh, if you want to learn more, uh, you can visit centrahealth.com. Uh, just search the ampersand so much more podcast or wherever you get your podcasts. Yes, uh, you can you can find it pretty much everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Uh, so check it out, and especially uh, check out uh, today's episode that'll be dropping yes. in a little bit. It's healthy over skinny. Let me. Uh, let me and it let will me be part two. That. It'll look a lot like that right there. <laughs> it, and and my interwebs is running slow. So uh, yeah. <laughs> So we, there, we actually so had so many of us in this podcast. We had to film in my office and not oh, in wow. the studio, which was really fun um, to kind of have a different setting mm-hmm. and, you know, just settle in a little bit. No, this is very, very cool. Good. Uh, looking forward to hearing uh, part two uh, of this particular podcast. Rob and Kathleen alone yeah, oh, uh, are, are hilarious They're people. so funny. And, and then, you know, you put some perspective and you put some, you know, real talk into it. And, yeah. And, it's 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 very informative. Uh, listen to it, check it out, and so much more. And and, and just bookmark this one because you're going to yes. want to know every time a new episode drops. You're going to want to listen to it because it's just it's it's not just hey this is a hospital and this is what we do. No, yes. it's really behind the scenes Aww, and and, and and really really uh, informative. So check it out. Um, it is the Mike Show. Cammy, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, coming up, uh, we have sounds, and we're going to place them uh, lovingly in your ear holes. It's uh, it's Audio Vault. Uh, that is all on the way. This portion of our broadcast, though, is brought to you in part by Centra Health. This is a care team at Centra. Hello. A team of experts who partner with you. Hey, Jackie, how are you? A doctor oversees your care. The team will take great care of you. An advanced practice provider is there for routine and sick visits. All right, I'll get that prescription call for you. Thank you. And an RN leads your nursing team. Your numbers are looking great. Getting you the personalized care you need. And that takes a team. Count on Centra because it's your life. We help you live it. it. From brand new to lightly used, CMA's Honda of Lynchburg's got you covered. Shop our growing selection today and find our best deals on our entire inventory. That's savings on every single vehicle. And on our used cars, take three days to love it or leave it. Plus, we'll buy your current vehicle. Trade in with us and get an unbeatable offer. Start shopping and saving today. CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Owners just care more. You gotta love the juice at Jersey Mike's. That zing of real red wine vinegar and olive oil blend is even better than the zing of a first kiss. No offense to Brenda DeMarche. It was a fine first smooch for me behind the bleachers. But there's nothing like when that zing of the juice hits your lips for the very first time. Years later, Brenda and I shared a Jersey Mike sub with extra juice. We had a better time because neither of us had braces. Add a flavor zing with the juice. Jersey Mike's. A sub above. Coming to you live from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafter's incredible inventory at their factory direct warehouse. 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at stonecraftersva.com. K-H-F! Oh, let's open it up. Let's see your audio vault for today our collection of bits and clips and viral audio for your ear holes well it's the audio from viral videos you get the picture anyway uh, are you looking for your next chapter in life well here's an idea to help you get to the next level always wanted to go back to college but just didn't have the time yeah didn't have the money that's me Well, now you can get a four-year college education free. Wait, free? Yes, free. Plus, free room, books, library access, and food. Sounds great. It's all waiting for you in prison. Wait, what? Yes, prison offers you the time and free education to finally get that college degree. Ironically, some even get them in criminal justice. So find out how you can end up in prison and start learning today. Plus, meet new friends. You got a pretty mouth. Uh... College in prison. 
It's not Penn State, no. but it is the state pen. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, hey, let's go to viral videos. What would high schoolers write about if they were told they could write about anything? Well, this high school teacher gave her kids that assignment, and and here she is with their topics. This is what high schoolers are interested in. We're telling them they can write about whatever they want. Topics include Jimmy Buffett, was he a good guy? Magnet fishing, coral reefs, Naruto, the effects of LSD on the body, human augmentation, why umpires are the worst, Travis Scott, women's fashion in the Victorian era, Kurt Cobain, the hijab ban in France, Chapel Rowan, how suburbia is ruining American culture, axe throwing, the New York Times games like the spelling bee, whole bunch on soccer, Messi's the best, Ronaldo's the best, few more on basketball, the inspiration behind the film Godzilla. Okay. Um, all right. So the 4th of July aftermath stories are rolling in. Like this one. A 41-year-old uh, South Carolina man uh, was killed. Oh, my. After igniting a large firework on top of his head. Good Lord. At a 4th of July party Thursday night, witnesses told investigators that Alan Ray McGrew was wearing a large top hat put the firework on top of the hat before lighting it. The device exploded, causing causing massive head injuries. Family members tried to get him to stop. His wife told first responders she believed he placed the firework on his head to quote-unquote show off at the block party. I mean... And now... Hey, Rocky, see? No doubt about it. I gotta get another hat. Yeah, no doubt about it. Um, let's see, is this, should we save this one, uh, for stupid criminals? Uh, yeah, let's save this one for stupid criminals. Um, oh man, maybe we should save this one for, uh, stupid criminals as well. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, is this just the music? Uh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Danny Trejo got into a fight at a 4th of July parade uh, after he and his friends got hit with water balloons. They jumped out of their low rider and it was on. Here's Danny and one of his buddies commenting on it after the fact. I'm so sad that I behaved the way I behaved. I'm so sad that grown men got to throw water balloons. I don't think I would have even got out of the car if somebody hadn't yelled, it's acid. I immediately got out to look at the hood and then when I got out of the car, I looked, boom, then a balloon hit me and then I looked up and I see a guy. I, I don't know what in the hell is wrong with you. But when he grabbed me, I That's stepped it. back and I fell off the curb. I, I'm sad. Yeah. I'm just sad that that there's still people like from the 50s and 60s that still feel the same way because no one else was targeted. Come on, you got a classic lowrider in a parade. That's the last thing you want is to get water on it. I would be embarrassed if I attacked an 80-year-old man and he's still talking and laughing. All right. And by the way, Danny just turned 80 years old. I didn't even realize that. He looks great for 80. Um, Nathan's Hot Dogs held their annual disgusting display of women and men stuffing soggy wieners and buns in their mouths on the 4th of July. Here's the new champ. And the winner is Patrick Bertoletti! Chicago, Illinois. It was all focused today, no mohawk, just hot water, and uh, I wasn't going to stop eating until the job was done. Okay. Uh, 58 dogs is well below Joey Chestnut's winning totals, by the way. Uh, Joey plans an, uh, plans an event this Labor Day weekend. He took on some soldiers uh, at Fort Bliss in Texas on July 4th and easily won, of course. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, we wrap up Audio Vault with a comedian, and today is no exception. Here's comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry? On selling your stuff on eBay eBay, another great step forward in human culture. Hey, why don't we mail our garbage back and forth to each other? (laughs) 
Why talk to your family at night when you could be bidding eight to ten dollars on a troll doll from Thailand? Or a personal storage unit. This is the saddest of all. Now, instead of free garbage, you pay rent to visit your garbage. It's like a prison visit when you go there, isn't it? Everything's locked up, everything's rusted and broken. You gotta bust into that lock, you lift up that rolling steel door. Look, I'm trying to get you guys out of here, okay? But there's no place for you in the world. I'm looking, I'm working on it. I will be back to see you again soon. My point is simple. Everything is thrown out in the end. We are thrown out in the end, my friends. And when I hear about someone that died and wanted certain important personal possessions put in with them when they're buried, I'm all for that. Take your crap with you. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's your audio vault for today. Let's reach over here and lovingly grab the handle. Go ahead. Give it a tug. Ah, keep all that sound inside. Um, coming up, we're going to get uh, stupid uh, with your stupid criminals in da news. But then we've got a good news story for you as well. We'll share that. Uh, this portion of our broadcast is brought to you in part by CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Looking for a dealership you can trust? CMA's Honda of Lynchburg is here for you. Our legacy of quality service speaks for itself. Drive away today in a Honda that's perfect for you. Trusted by the Lynchburg community for years. CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Owners just care more. Hi, I'm Matt Bright, the new owner of CRI Digital Impressions. And I'm excited to announce a new chapter in the century-long history of CRI. Mutual Press was founded in 1927, and in 1973 it merged with CRI to become CRI Mutual Press. In 2002 it was renamed CRI Digital Impressions. I also own Bright Images, which has provided print and media services to the area since 1995. Yes, there is a new owner and a new location, but the same commitment to quality and service. In fact, quality and service are the cornerstones of my business philosophy quick turns and service with a smile. From business cards to banners and pamphlets to paperback books, we can provide all your printing needs. Call, visit us online, or stop by our location at 3022 Memorial Avenue, Lynchburg. We look forward to serving you. Three Roads Brewery is Lynchburg's gathering spot. Enjoy the relaxed open atmosphere of the Lynchburg Tap Room with plenty of space to unwind or outside on their expansive patio with friends and the entire family. Check out Three Roads games, arcade style, darts, and more. And of course, an excellent selection of craft beers brewed on site. Grab a Three Roads today at their Tap Room, 1300 Court Street, downtown Lynchburg, their Tap Room in Farmville, or anywhere they serve great beer. Three Roads is also available at area convenience stores and supermarkets. And if they don't carry Three Roads, ask them to. Brewing Community, Three Roads Brewery. Broadcasting from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafter's incredible inventory at their Factory Direct Warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. KHF. All right, time once again for Stupid Criminals in Da News. <laughs> yeah, All right, uh, where was it? Where was it? It was right here. Uh, here we go. Um, police in Wisconsin put out an APB after someone threw cheese at someone else's car. Uh, it happened at 9.45 p.m. Well, okay, Wisconsin, cheese, this makes sense. I mean, if it were, oh, I don't know, uh, Maine, it could be lobster. If it were Idaho, it would be a potato. Of course, this makes perfect sense. That someone in Wisconsin threw cheese in someone else's car. Uh, it happened on Monday, last Monday, 9.45 p.m. The victim <laughs> said it felt like someone was trying to chase them down and that the person then threw cheese at their vehicle. Uh, the uh, police department, the, how do you pronounce it? Uh, how do you pronounce this town? Uh, here, let's uh, search. I'm, I'm sorry to dis, uh, de derail the... Uh, how to pronounce. All right. Yeah. 
Claire. How, how do you pronounce that? Oh Claire. 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 Anyway, <clears throat> uh, take two. The Eau Claire Police Department posted about it on Facebook and called it the most Wisconsin complaint they've ever received. Uh, their Facebook post went on to say, <laughs> not Gouda, <laughs> it's unbelievable that someone would do that. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, throwing cheese is nacho best look. <laughs> It doesn't sound like they have any suspects, but people in the comments kept it rolling with more cheesy comments. Someone called it a Swiss demeanor. <laughs> and another another asked, what kind of a monster would do such a thing? <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, yeah, there was a TikTok challenge a few years ago that involved cheesing cars. It's not clear if it had anything to do with that. Or they're not clear if it had anything to do with that. Um, what else? Do we have any other... Uh, oh, yeah, we had a couple uh, stupid news stories. Here we go. Um, well, speaking of cheese, you may be able to tell that this cheesy cover of Journeys Don't Stop Believing is fake. Here, listen. Instrumental that you gave me. That's it's the karaoke version of it. Come on. All right. Anyway, take two. Um, if someone contacted you and said that they were the former lead singer of Journey, Steve Perry, and they not only needed money for a business venture, they also needed a new woman. Well, that's what happened. To this 75-year-old Journey fan, uh, she lives in Cleveland, she got scammed for $122,000. Go! $122,000. Okay, number one, lady, Steve Perry doesn't need the money. Two, Steve Perry's in a relationship. Three, <laughs> Steve Perry's not going to ask you for money. <laughs> He's just not. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, lady. Go! $122,000 in, in wire transfers and gift cards. It wasn't until they asked for pictures of her passport and driver's license that she contacted police. Oh, man. That's, uh, I know. I, I mean, 75. Just, oh, man. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, uh, her name is not mentioned, but maybe it's oh sherry <laughs> oh sorry uh what else is there anything else do, 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 do. we did the uh danny treo story uh we did that we did that oh let's do some good news there's good news in the world and we like to share it during this particular segment because there is so much stupidity uh, a teen made a move that you would see in an action movie on Wednesday in New Hampshire. Uh, it happened when a sailing instructor was teaching children how to sail. When he reached for the tennis ball used to teach turning. He, when, when he reached for, Okay, a student's boat uh, tipped over and the mast hit the instructor's throttle, throwing him from the boat. That's when 17-year-old Brady Procon... And a neighbor, Justin King, got the kids out of harm's way, and Brady made a leap to uh, to stop the runaway boat. Here, listen. Here, and I looked up, and I could see this boat circling. And then, of course, looked at the boat, and there's nobody in it. If that boat was circling like that, it could have hit somebody. So he jumped on his boat, told me to get on the jet ski to go get the kids out of the way. It just came to me. I didn't really think. I just did it. I'm realizing what I did it scared me a little bit, but it was fun. Good Lord. Uh, Brady, by the way, goes into the Navy this fall. And that is the good news. All right. Um, it is the Mike Show. It's the Monday edition of the program. Uh, this portion of our broadcast is brought to you in part by the United Way of Central Virginia. Well, being on the board is uh, an amazing experience because you get to find out a lot about the community and what the needs of the community are. The United Way is in the business of changing lives.
43,669 of our neighbors cannot afford the basic costs of living. United Way programs were able to provide 99,500 meals to families. I am the change. Visit our website, be the change, and donate today. All right, visit unitedwaycv.org for more information. And uh, you can also visit hillcityslide.com. August 24 and 25, uh, coming up rapidly, they are turning Church Street between 12th and Washington into a 700-foot water slide. Yep, a company called Urban Slide is coming in, and uh, you can reserve your space and reserve your time slot by visiting uh, hillcityslide.com. Uh, the, all the money raised uh, is a donation. It goes to the United Way of Central Virginia. It's a fundraiser. This will be taking place August 24th and 25th. Uh, some time slots are selling out. So if you want to reserve your time slot, uh, do it today. Hillcityslide.com. Get your tickets uh, for, for this event, either Saturday or Sunday time slots. And you can slide as many times as you can uh, down the 700-foot water slide uh, that's going to be on Church Street in downtown Lynchburg. As many times as you can during your time slot. So uh, hit them up, hillcityslide.com. Uh, and, by the way, on uh, August 24, Saturday, if you're at Hill City Slide, uh, come up the hill one block to Three Roads, and you can uh, you can join us uh, at Three Roads for their uh, Summer Jam 24. It is uh, a, a tribute to Woodstock, but it's also the fourth anniversary of Three Roads Brewing here in Lynchburg. So uh, come check it out. Uh, that is on August 24th. So again, if you're uh, if you're down uh, at Hill City Slide, get your wristband and uh, and come on up to Three Roads. Show your wristband for dollar off drafts uh, and uh, enjoy some great music too. By the way, I, I happen to have. I'm going to get these signed. This is our Summer Jam poster and uh, the bands. Uh, Bigfoot County, they're going to be playing Grateful Dead. They're our headliner. Uh, Elizabeth Wise is going to be doing uh, a tribute to the women of Woodstock. Uh, and then Old Town Connector is going to be doing songs uh, from uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, CCR, and The Band. They're going to do one hour of each of those uh, original Woodstock bands. Plus, the Love LYH Market uh, is going to be there. Caleb does just an incredible job uh, with the uh, Love LYH Market. I'm trying to put that over there, but there's too much stuff on the counter. Um, just a fantastic job coordinating uh, the, uh, the the market vendors. Uh, so thank you, Caleb, for that. Um, we will have food trucks. We may even have uh, fire dancers, uh, hula hoopers, all kinds of uh, carnival-type atmosphere stuff. Uh, maybe some things that you may have found at Woodstock. It's also, yeah, it's, a, it's the 55th anniversary of Woodstock. So that's going to be taking place uh, on August 24th, Saturday, August 24th. And by the way, it is free. Free, 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 free. Free entertainment, three great bands, an incredible time, and it's no admission. You pay nothing to get I said you pay nothing. <clears throat> nothing. Nothing to get in. All right. Uh, well, that is it. That is the program. We are back tomorrow. Goodbye. Don't come back. Now we're back tomorrow with another thrilling edition of The Mike Show. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for tuning our way. And if you're listening in your car right now, thanks for the ride. Scotty, beat me up. We'll see you here again tomorrow. Who's going to do the dishes? <laughs>